Hey everyone, it's Andrew in here. Everyone knows why I'm playing Batman the Telltale series, because this game is done. And we're here on the second episode of Batman the Telltale series. <coughs> and just as a reminder, when you see this, you know the effects are off. Episode 2, Batman and Telltale Series. Anyway, here's the narration. Let's hear from the narrator. Do you want to... Previously on Batman and the Telltale Series. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. A revolution. When this whole thing starts... Make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. The Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. <coughs> Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. And there we are. My bad. <laughs> this is Selena. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? It's <coughs> the Waynes. And, and we found out the next time. And we as a reminder there for this series. Here it is. This game series is it can be said as This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is told by how you play. So this last week, we well, yesterday we saw a scandal, and of course, Bruce Wayne ends up in Crime Alley, going to lock knowing in the same place that ground his parents to dust. To do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I... I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. 
My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was oh the boy, muscle. Bruce Wayne looked at him. Thomas himself. legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know, I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed. And you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Just give me some time to think it through, okay? This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want and to face. And Bruce did as he, he was told. Maybe there was some detail It's I time to see what detail was this. We're gonna start from the very beginning. We're the feeder! And Bruce Wayne sees the feeder! I love that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Bruce Wayne headed to the side alley. Had a little chat with Alfred. Think back to that night, as hard as it might be to do so. There must be some detail that escaped you. Try to remember, Bruce. I will. And you're going to remember. Anyone here see this thing? You know effects come like this part. So the side alleys. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. Take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Yeah, I know. Let's have a look at it. Right, Alfred. Here's the last part. The little graffiti. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. 
Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Now let's see where the memory end. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. Oh boy. And the gun fires. And after that, uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really? Oh boy. But before he was just about to kill the boy, the police arrived! When Bruce was a young lad, he became a warrior. Bruce, are you alright? It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated. And Carmine fell cold. And knows why. And that's why we are heading there now. Okay. Oh. ATPD, 8.56 a.m. Who's name is Harvey Dent had to talk to Carmine fell cold. They, they arrived in the elevator. Like transport. Bruce Wayne got a lip. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne, welcome to the GCVD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor and cut. I'm gonna call you on that. Right. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne? Sergeant Rene Montoya, I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. 
Thanks, Sergeant. We had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. Now, he's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Well, whoever he is behind the mask, Batman's a hero to me. And that's the problem. People are either scared out of their wits or they're trying to copy him. Well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. And Bruce Wayne and Harvey then arrive All at the right, party. All right, Falcone's inside. Say what you got to say. We'll be out here. And Bruce Wayne enters the infirmary with confidence. Bruce Wayne is in, and he sees Carmine Falcone on his life support. See. Children of Arca. Who are they? The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. <coughs> My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. Goddamn Batman. I haven't took a beat in this bed since before I got made. <clears throat> Your father used to sew me up. Better than these cop doctors. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. Tommy? You and Tommy More like friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Did you have something to do with his death? Ah. So that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Convince me, then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. There it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Right. I will. <sighs> but my <laughs> No hey No hurt killing. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. What? It'd what be is? so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to Put an old dog down forever. Cause you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I need you coherent, or you would be gone already. <laughs> there it is. That Wayne Street. Much better, kid. Thank you. Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah, there's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> I lost her so young. I hardly remember anything about her. She had steel in her, did Martha. She was the only one that ever had a hold on your father. Until you hired an assassin to kill them both. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never 
ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Call about Carney, can... Least of oh, all those you Carter. call friend. Someone entered the door and shot my duty! Help! They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! The rest, as they say! What's history? History! <laughs> like the true settler and the free little pig. I'll pop a link in there if we you want to see a video. We are deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close! You both heard her. She had no love for Falcone. She's supposed to do her duty, not act on impulses. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. The simple fact is she walked in and shot him. <laughs> then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh... Tell me if she says anything. Right. I have to know why she did this. There you go. Contact you now for now. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. And we're for the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Wayne, hey, my toy, what's up? Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Oh, everything is such a blur. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did. What? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. It is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There was an ejection site on your neck. It just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice 
in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. Did, did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice! It was saying something about... Revolution? Revolution? Oh, I said something similar. Same thing. But who's behind all this? And Harvey and Jim enter. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. Drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Uh, of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! And we're off She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. Yep. That's not much to go on. Hey, Bruce Wayne. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Bruce Wayne headed to the back. Dude. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! And Vicky Hill. What, what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? The press can't seem to leave me alone. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's your cologne. Where it is, there were shots fired, near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit at the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something. And Bruce Wayne said yes. They already opened. A police sergeant, Renee Montoya. And Bruce well, headed wait, Sergeant to the Montoya. Back you didn't get through this his from own me. car. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. And they, he did it with his talk. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found the docks. Yep. Just like the last episode. Got. And Bruce Wayne. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Yeah. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. Judge, no jury, and executioner? I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yeah, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone no, would have balanced each other then out. Then who was it? Can you pinpointed this? reference Wait, points on the two below. compounds. And if you want to see my sense of terror commercials, I'll pop a link to it. And anyway, Bruce Wayne looked at the dock sample. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. 
messy. <laughs> yeah. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small Rub injection to strip weapon. Montoya of her judge, moral so filters who is? Judge, and make her act on her base and impulses. Do you have any guesses on this one? Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. Yep. The things they would otherwise control. That's right. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Shut up. Oh, the location of Cobblepot. So who's going to check the map? Here's my part. I'm gonna check the map for you. Okay. Let's check this one. Scanning. Fighter, fire now! That was how much good it depends on me to do. Now let's check the other third position. Body to get cold, did you ask? So Bruce Wayne should have been Batman. Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Yep, the Batman. And Bruce Wayne has his Scarlet Club. 4 p.m. Check out this office. Where is the incredible? Let's go. Thanks. You can help me, or you can join the Bow family. It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks the from Gotham's number one no. vigilante! The, the oh, don't crime? worry, I'll pass yeah. your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. Bruce, I'll Roland. crush him. Gotcha. Now, gotcha. now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Falcone deserved to die. Roman like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're off the I like your choice of words. 
You know how to create an impression. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay rich. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Samina. Yes, a oh, beautiful name. <laughs> Down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Hey, Gwen. Do you find Selena? Get the Gwen head, Suda. Streets of Gotham. Stack deck, 6 p.m. No cake. Okay. Who's main got the text? And I'll contact my mom for fried chicken. That jukebox went to Kirkfoot. Oh, no. Tunes for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Instead. Not necessarily. And asked for family information that his jukebox and his trophy. Here? Cops raided. If he had it to his spreader, and then he would have been named the official winner of the race. And Kirkfoot had a fraction on his card, and he disqualified his trophy and his jukebox from the lead and handed to cop his brother Kyle. And I hope you wish Kyle good luck. You want to fix the 2020 national schedule? Go to change.org. I'll pop the link to it along with attention. Fix the 2020 national schedule. A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Low profile, right. Let's... Let's chat with a bartender. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> You wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. So he brought a drink. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. And a man that counters Bruce You'd Wayne. You'd be surprised. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? 
Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Frank. Yeah. Oh, Funny I got seeing a little you surprise. here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. You're shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. Never heard he goes of him. by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. And Selena and Bruce had a sit down. You've got to be kidding me. At a table. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. This is the penguin. <laughs> I didn't. It's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He stole mind-altering chemicals from Falcone. Hmm. Drugs aren't really penguins, I know. Yeah, well, maybe he's branching out. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald. Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat. And the cat helps the bat. Bruce. Sweetie. The gallant knight thing. It really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together. After all, I'm not really an all like and all play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's yep. your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. Just of course, Anna and Bruce had a. You he kept I... talking. Tennis bugs in a beat. Well, Bruce, you were right. So Kyle, Vegas, the Penguin the says, I'll lie. You know, Boo! Bruno! Beat it. We're here for her. This is chaos. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. She's with me. I think you need to leave. I think it's time for a little... 
little. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good. For such a pretty boy. Bruce Wayne checked pockets and all he found was the cop hot bug's phone. Come on, this way. And they escaped. Hey Bruce! Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Just... Stay out of trouble. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? Stay out of trouble, Selena. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Me who's going somewhere else later. I like City Hall. While Bruce Billy went there, let's check Bruce Wayne had a chat with Alfred. Who'd Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Should have guessed. Car ride. What else is on there? Looks like they were in contact oh. many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. The whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor, too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Maybe going as... Both is an option. I don't like to go as Batman. I think I'll choose Brucey. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. The mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor- Will be fine. And if he fires, he'd just come to work for me. Deal? Deal. Yeah. 
Yep. And Blue Twain meets, enters the office of the mayor. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see you. But you're a day late and a great many dollars short. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. Let's see what it is. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. Same point. I've held up my hand. Count it out! And I expect I'm you to do the same. 40. Sounds like me. And it is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? I'm here as a friend. This can disappear. Oh, let me guess. There's a fee. The fee is full disclosure on your partners. Partners? I want nothing to do with them. That makes sense. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. If that's true, maybe I can make it right. Noble, but naive. It was so long ago, there's nothing left of the Cobblepot estate. Maybe if I could count on you as an ally, I could use the powers of my you office mean, to help ally you with sponsor? There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. And Bruce Wayne the heart. Now, if that rival were to say, don't, don't drop lie. out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Fine. That's what it takes to earn your friendship. I knew you'd see the light. It's time we really talked. Power is an old oak. The trunk stands strong, but it's the roots that hold it up. And the thickest of them lead to Arkham. Arkham Asylum. Your father, me, Falcone, we used it to get our enemies out of the way. Drugged and declared them insane. Drugged and declared them? It made it easy to take their things. Thomas was the doctor. I leveraged my political power to ease the transfer of assets. Falcone was the muscle. Because Alec was known he had his own as way of making GMC problems in like 100 years ago. So that's what Oz wants to punish me for. And it, his mother was Alec one of our last patients. G you can hardly GMC. expect him to think rationally. Gotham was chaos before we took control. At least now there's a semblance General of order. Listen, Since Bruce, I'm not a GM fan. Now that we're back on the same I'm side. I'm a Toyota fan. Your I father's last Kyle gift Bush. to me. They're yours. The keys to the city. Thank you. Hamilton. Call me Hamilton. Penguin's gathered quite a few victims to his crusade. But that's a problem for another day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prep for the debate. My door is always open, Bruce. Next time, make an appointment. Good luck tonight. I don't need luck. I hit hard enough to win without it. Yep, you will. Good luck, Mr. Mayor Hill. Alfred gets contacted by Bruce. Who Alfred, caught? get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. And Bruce Wayne Hill has seems to, head to think back he's safe, but Penguin's the still out there. What else is on here? Check what else. And Blue Wayne enters the phone. To the back computer. 
As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Mm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. And just to be safe, you can learn. Hells, details about your father. They must have been well, quite upsetting. I can't imagine my how mom, must feel. My parents have been Toyotas. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. Other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out. But police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Check your news. Police are saying that who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be Bristol. hitting some potholes on his and path will, to the mayor's there's office. There's a cover, hey, Despite the backing Bristol. of billionaire Bruce Wayne, Wayne commercials, I mean, for the back of the very next week. And I'll pop the link to it if you want to see the commercial, I made up. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news. Nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out, but police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Yep. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Why, why? What happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisor is telling me that I need that I to should protect. <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. 
Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good... I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. <laughs> you can't leave now. I mean, think of the message that would send to the voters. Bruce, I'm ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. And what with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth of our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. Fine, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? I can put in your money, buddy. Whatever it takes to save Gotham. That's I don't want to say wanted. forget it. All I want to say is, of course. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen no, to me. No, listen I to won't. me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. You're lucky I'm on your side. Now that may be true, but I can't ally with a violent thug. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? Nothing. Oh, I don't do the bad things anymore, Lieutenant. Unless it's on request. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. Allergic? None of my men on the ground are responding. What's allergic? Enough waiting. We're going in. Anyone can check Alpha, the definition for do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Checking on the content. Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dan, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important to you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home. A city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. We know why they weren't responding. 
Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator! Oh boy. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages. I don't like their chances. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. The penguins play with keeps. The fanatics always do. Harvey is reporting to me, not the leader. You'll do. You can shut Get out of here. And right. Keep it quiet Harvey back there. My life. These guys are armed to the teeth. And I prefer to have my Harvey. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there? Yes. You. Oh, thank you for wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. I know. The Selena, but well. Oh, 
Oh boy. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. I don't know the sisters of Gotham. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. And expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, we show you the truth. We knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Go on, love. You know what to do. Oh, my God. 
That's all Thomas Wade! I took out Thomas Wayne! That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it! There won't be back, my poor old Come on, boy. So and this is for her. Why don't you kill anyone else? Right, your turn, Dent! Your mate, Bruce Wayne, your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne. Lieutenant. He's lucky. It would have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. You're right. It will be. Are you safe in there? I recommend you stay part. Is here? To save Selena over, not I don't want to save Selena over Harvey because Harvey will become Two Face. You guys are afraid to have Harvey not become Two Face. My way, my game. Next time and don't forget Batman, to chip in five dollars or more series. to my house at Free Seven Free Seven Free Six Street. Batman save me. I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? 
Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? Bruce! Bruce! 